We do have some more time for clarifications. Ms. Pa. And the next two, the ministers. To SMS, uh, who could have been distracted by MP Leon Pereira's suggestion to have members of parliament uh, help conduct political education in schools. But this is not about that. Uh, you did not uh, respond specifically to my recommendation to strengthen and further resource the existing support model uh, for uh, uh, students with special needs in mainstream schools from primary to secondary to IHLs. And uh, because the feedback is that really the resources are insufficient and the, the model is quite inadequate. So uh, uh, see your consideration for that. The second one is also my second time request for respect academy or uh, 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 to, to place uh, more strategic priority and focus uh, so that we can actually create lifelong learners as well out of this uh, special needs population. Just like NUS adopts its alumni now and see their uh, uh, students uh, uh, or look at their graduates in the 20 year time frame, I wonder if we could do the same for, for the SPET. Uh, the second is to the two ministers. It sounds like MOE has got its act all together and that you've covered uh, all grounds. I was just wondering in the future that's constantly uh, disrupted and uh, uh, most times uh, unpredictable, how do you, how do you uh, ensure that, you know, uh, how do you navigate a space like this? How do you ensure more learner agil agility uh, amongst our students uh, and, and, and even more self-directed uh, learning, you know, from a very young age? So I wanted to ask you on these two questions. Which office bearer? Uh, sir, I thank Ms. Poir for the follow-up questions. Um, indeed, we, we want to strengthen support, uh, but the question is how? And I think Ms. Poir and many others would appreciate that the SPED space is not homogenous, uh, very varied challenges, very varied needs. Uh, when I describe things like the structures that we have uh, or the 80 percent of students with special educational needs that are in our mainstream schools, that's not a model. That's not a target. That's an outcome of the approach that we're taking. And we currently have uh, uh, a space with a wide variety of service delivery models and a wide variety of structures. So we have to take a little bit of a step back and have a sense that there really is no clear single answer about a single best model. Uh, but there are some common challenges that we need to address in terms of strengthening our support. And the biggest single challenge actually is professional capability. Uh, so when we look at what we're doing in our schools, the mainstream schools, the MOE-funded SPED schools, our VWO partners, the biggest single challenge is to not just have enough of the professionals, but actually deepen the capabilities of those professionals. And that is the uh, biggest single focus of the work that we're doing. So the short answer to the first question is yes. Uh, to the SPED Academy, it is something that we will seriously study. We are uh, quite open to improving and updating and refreshing how we do the different models of SPED delivery. There is no single model of SPED delivery, and we're quite open to studying further models. Mr. Siak, oh, Minister Ng. Mr. Deputy Speaker, I thank Ms. Denise for her questions. Well, as a system, we remain open-minded, as open-minded as possible, not to be blindsided by different trends that may surface. Some trends will be relevant, some trends may fade, but we examine it in totality. Structurally, we do reviews in MOE periodically across all different subjects, and we do benchmarkings with renowned institutions around the world, and we also go on study visits. For example, I went to Australia. My staff actually asked me, what would you like to learn in Australia? I wanted to look at outdoor education and how it would strengthen a perceived weakness in our own system. So we look at different systems to learn new things. We have also research and development arms set up in NIE and in MOE. So this research entities plug into the world institutions where they do research on pedagogical updates, pedagogical updates, or anthropological updates. So we are always trying to keep at the forefront of developments, but always, as I said earlier, remembering to customize it to our Singapore context. Mr. Short answer, sorry, short answer to Ms. Dennis Pa because she said, ask the ministers. Short, short answer is help the students 
find what they love to do. Because if it's something they love to do, they'll be self-directed and they'll learn their whole life. And that is what we are focusing on.